In this tutorial, we'll discuss leveraging the tools of Device Manager for troubleshooting common subscriber connectivity issues. Once you've looked up a subscriber, the default screen that appears is the Local Network View. This visibility beyond the gateway means no more guessing required as to the status of a particular LAN device. Thus, if a subscriber is reporting that he is able to get online from some LAN devices but not others, understanding the connection status of those devices from the home router's perspective is extremely powerful for troubleshooting purposes. Let's talk about some key indicators available to you here at the local network view. The status column shows if the device is online or offline. This is reinforced with the icon at the far left column. A faded icon indicates that the subscriber's home router does not detect a connection with the LAN device. A colored icon indicates that this LAN device is connected to the router. The IP address column is also helpful. Assuming DHCP is being used, the presence of an IP address from a valid range helps to confirm the level of connectivity between the LAN device and the router. Note that the MAC address is displayed even for devices that are offline, so this alone is not an indicator of a currently live connection. If the LAN device in question cannot be detected by the router, the cause could be as simple as an unplugged or defective Ethernet cable that needs to be replaced. Similar measures of trial and error should be exercised on this leg of the signal path until the router is able to see the device. If the LAN device in question is connected via Wi-Fi and the signal strength is low, that alone may be the cause for your subscriber's call for support. Suggest that the user move his client device closer to the router and try again. If the difficulty isn't with a single LAN device, let's look further upstream and focus on the gateway itself and its WAN connectivity health indicators. The banner line near the top of the screen shows basic device information here in these boxes to the right. The ability for the gateway to connect to Device Manager and sync what it knows is one indication of its ability to communicate with the world outside the subscriber's home. This rightmost box can be very informative. The last inform tells you the last time that the gateway device successfully connected to the Device Manager ACS. Gateways check in on their own at regular intervals, but the typical frequency is once per day or a little more. If this indicates that several days have passed since it last informed to Device Manager, this could be an indication of a connectivity issue and further investigation is required. If the device is completely unresponsive, the cause for the caller's inability to get online could be something as simple as a power cord that was inadvertently unplugged from the wall. All manner of creative troubleshooting here is fair game until the root cause is discovered. Note that this last inform actually affects everything we've discussed thus far. All of the data below is only updated when the device informs, right down to the Wi-Fi signal strength. To ensure you're seeing the most current possible state of the device, you may wish to click this Refresh Device Data button, which will force the device to inform the device manager and update this view. Continuing with our connectivity health assessment of this gateway to the outside world, we'll move away from the local network view for a moment and visit the Gateway Status screen. In the Device Management drop-down to the left, select Gateway Status. Most of this screen is dedicated to indicators of the line health between the gateway and the central office. Here we're seeing a DSL gateway status, but note that DOCSIS and Ethernet devices have fewer details to display at this screen. You may have other tools available that provide these same statistics, but Device Manager puts them in easy reach without having to switch applications. The tolerable norms for these indicators will vary based on the end-to-end -end infrastructure of your organization. You'll want to consult with your superiors about cautionary thresholds for each of the stats represented here that should trigger some form of escalation to investigate potential CO or outside plant issues. Slow link speeds, excessive signal-to-noise ratio, CRC errors exceeding a predefined limit, these conditions and others on this display could all point toward potential causes for compromised or interrupted service. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to apply the tools of Device Manager 
to the task of troubleshooting your subscriber's slow connection or no connection symptoms. Take a moment now to log in to Device Manager and explore these features firsthand.